Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about putting interviews on your blog. So why would you want to do this? Well, it's a tactic that I've used really effectively in my blog, Blogging Fearlessly, where every Monday I feature an interview by a big blogger. They don't have to be huge, but it has to be someone that is really, really creatively using the internet to grow their business or grow per personally or professionally. So anyone that's using their web presence to grow, I want to learn from. So why would you want to do an interview? First of all, it's an amazing way to create a connection with someone else. When you're asking them if you can interview them, it's showing them not only that you respect them, that you look up to them, but that you want your readership to get to know them. It's a great, great, great way to establish a first connection without asking for a blog post, a guest post, or asking for a favor. Second, it's a great source of content. I mean, when you're constantly trying to come up with new blog posts or new videos or new photographs, you're going to have moments where you're stuck and you have nothing left to offer. The internet isn't always about knowing what no one else knows, reinventing the wheel, creating the most original content on the planet. What it is about is being a curator. It's about being able to take all the information around your topic and bring it together in incredible packaging so that your followers can enjoy and nerd out about that topic as much as you do. So that means when we're always worrying about saying the next greatest thing under the sun, what we should really be focusing on is finding someone else who's saying something incredible and bringing it to our audience and packaging it in a way that's authentic and consistent with your brand. So, for instance, on Blogging Fearlessly, I try to make sure that all of my interviews are centralized around the same basic idea. For blogging fearlessly, the idea is showing off new creative ways that people are using the internet to grow. So I don't only interview huge bloggers, and I don't only interview people that are making money online, but I'll interview anyone who's really creatively using the internet to create an awesome life for themselves. I mean, imagine talking to someone that spends half the year in Mexico and half the year in Europe with his wife on his own schedule because he's created this amazing online presence. He's not a scammy salesman. He's not an affiliate marketer. He's just growing his brand online and leveraging that to make income. That's someone that I interviewed on Blogging Fearlessly. His name is Corbett Barr, and he runs a big site called thinktraffic.net as well as his own blog and another site called Expert Enough. So everyone doesn't have to be a Corbett Barr. I've also interviewed professional writers. Um, I've interviewed Tim King, the ringleader of this whole vlogging challenge. Um, anyone that's leveraging the internet in new and creative ways. And what this does is it ties together the purpose of blogging fearlessly and the rest of the resources found on the site. When my readers of blogging fearlessly come, what they're looking for are tips to grow their blog, ways to overcome writer's block, um, new strategies for growing their online presence. But what I really want to give them is the, the motivation and the resources to take control of their lives and to do interesting things with these, these resources that have never been available before. And the way that I'm able to do that is by showcasing interviews. Um, so my point is, whatever your business is, there are people you can learn from. And admitting that you can learn from other people isn't admitting defeat. And it's not no longer being the authority in your niche. It's actually showing how, how much you have the inside scoop and how much you want your readers to grow. And in some ways, it even serves as an endorsement by them, that they'll take the time and talk to you and be on your site, shows the relevance that you have in your particular community. So what do you do when you want to start putting interviews on your site? The first thing is figure out what the purpose of the interview is. I personally am a really big fan of the interview series concept. Um, today I was actually featured on a website about um, anorexia, for women with anorexia, featuring anorexia survivors and why they went there and how they got better and all those sorts of things. And for me, it was a really fun opportunity to get to reach a new audience. Um, it, was, it was fun getting to answer someone else's questions and relive my old experiences and kind of package up the knowledge and not have to go through the time and effort of putting it together into a post and promoting it and things like that. But what I did do was I put, of course, the link to this interview on my Facebook 
and on my Twitter, and it'll eventually go in my portfolio with places that I've been interviewed or places I've had guest posts. So on top of the fact that I enjoyed it, and the person I wrote for got free content, they also got free publicity. All of my followers online, people that are interested in, in me and what I'm doing, are going to want to see this interview that I was in. It's exciting, and they might want to learn more about what I went through in that time in my life, and it's not on my site, it's only on hers. So the first thing, I really think that interview series are a strong way to go. She's interviewing someone every week that survived an eating disorder. Um, I think that's a really nice way to tie together the different content, and it also gives your readers an idea of what to expect. But even if you're not up for a whole series, I think sprinkling in interviews here and there is a great way to get your site hustling and bustling and full of new information. So think about who you know. Who do you network with on Twitter? I would think there's so much you can accomplish if you just, you know, get over yourself a little bit and email them. Email an industry leader. Email someone and say, if I send you some questions, can you, can you send me your answers back? I know you're busy. I know you don't have time for this. Thank you. A lot of gratitude, a lot of humility, and a lot of I will work around your schedule goes a long way. It'll also help give you new and exciting content for your readers. So before you do the interview, of course you need to take a couple basic steps. Research the person you're interviewing. Know about them. The more you know about them, the more insightful questions you're going to be able to ask and the more your readers are going to get out of it. Make sure that you're well prepared for this. It's a really, really great opportunity to network with someone in your field. A lot of the guest posts that I've gotten, so when I get to write for other people's sites, have come from first interviewing them. So they got to know me. It was a, a voucher of respect on my part. And then when I presented the interview on my site, of course, I wrote a very nice introduction about them. I gave them links. Um, all of that was my goodwill before ever asking for anything for me, which in this case is the interview. So be well prepared, um, network with who you know, don't be afraid, send out 50 emails asking people for interviews and you might get three responses. Those three responses could be huge for your blog. Another insider tip, this is the last thing I'm going to say, is I have noticed that sometimes bigger isn't always better. Um, writing for someone that isn't the, the biggest in the world but is up and coming and enthusiastic and really excited about the publicity and the opportunity to reach a new audience might be more beneficial. I've noticed that I write for people with huge, huge, huge audiences. Sometimes, or when I interview them, sometimes they won't even link to the interview. And I don't know why always. I think sometimes they just get busy. Um, I don't know. I really don't know where, where it comes from. But some of the really, really grateful medium-sized bloggers that are excited about the interview, excited about the fact they were interviewed, I'm still getting links um, and hits and visitors from their promoting of the interview because they were so excited about it. So it's important to find people with devoted readers that are going to want to learn more about them, um, people that are excited about you and the idea of being interviewed and the idea of promoting their brand. And it's also important to make sure that you have nice things to say about them, that you're going to bring up some unexpected questions, and that you're going to make it fun for them. No one wants to answer the same thing every day. So I hope this trick works for you. Um, I have found it to be one of the most effective ways to create awesome online content and grow your website and grow your brand. If you have any questions, I'm always here, so you can email me at jen at mismorphosis.com. And I encourage you to check out the interview series on bloggingfearlessly.com. We have a new one every Monday, and if you subscribe, you get them straight to your inbox. So that's pretty cool. Um, have a great day, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow.